Hi, it's Corrine for the Wild Orchid Crafts Design Team, and today I have a fun project to share with you today. And I did film this entire project, so I will play that right after this. If you're interested, then please stay tuned. And I will link all the products used today from Wild Orchid Crafts down in the description box. So check that out, and I hope you stop by Wild Orchid Crafts. They have a whole new Christmas selection available as well. So today my project is a little mini album in a box and I used the case that my phone came in for this little box. So the box measures seven by approximately four and on the front here I used the new resin pieces that I got, a little chandelier with these corners and I absolutely love them. I use some of their white organza trimming underneath here. I'll have detailed photos at the end as well. And this is new to me. This is um, their pink English rose. Absolutely stunning. I use some of the cottage roses here and here in ivory and pink. I have a uh, curly rose I believe this is. Some tulips, hip rose buds some more tulips and hip rose buds. I used one of the flat back glitter balls and one of their new um, rhinestone embellishments. I love that, the sparkling. They come in all different colors. I absolutely love that. This is also one of their vintage cabochon pieces. It says love. And on the side here, I've had this piece in my stash for years and years, so I add the word bless to it, and I use some of the self-adhesive pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts. On the bottom, I used these little um, feet. I get them from Home Depot, and I painted them white to match. And let me show you the paper collection that I'm using. It's absolutely beautiful. I got it for the 12 by 12 pad for $5.99 at Michael's. And it's by Craftsmith. It's the Tea Party Collection. You'll probably see me using this a lot. I got two pads of it. This is absolutely stunning paper. And I also used a little of the silver paper, um, glitter paper from DCWV, the Glitzy Glitter Card Stack. So when you open this up, I covered the sides as well and I covered the top portion. That paper is just beautiful. I didn't worry about the sides right here because they're white and the white matched the paper very well. So again I have a little mini album inside and I did not do much with the mini album because it's just for photos. Here's the bottom of the box. Beautiful papers. So this is actually a pretty decent sized mini album. I have the word blessed here as well. I cut out a little bow from the Silhouette Cameo and added a tiny little open rose to it, a pink open rose. And I have some more of that beautiful organza trimming on the side. And this, like I said, this is just for photos, so there's no, I just let the paper speak for itself. I did add um, little pockets and I cut or made these little scallop ends with my cameo as well. So this little album will hold quite a few photos. So let me just flip through it real quick here. I love this paper. And that is the album. I did, like I said, film this in fast play because otherwise it would be, I worked on this for a couple days, so it would be a super long video. So unfortunately I couldn't do it in real time, but I quickly go over how I made the mini album. I don't really spend a lot of time on that because I do have a separate video, which I will link below of how I make mini albums and it's the exact same way. So like I said, I do quickly go through it. I don't spend a lot of time on showing you how I made the mini album or directions, but um, here is all the sizes that I use. So if you wanted to pause on this, you can do that. I will also have this at the end of the video as well. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I hope you enjoy and I hope you stay tuned for the start to finish and check out the description box for all the links. Thanks so much for watching.